San Antonio. We're here with Commissioner Justin Rodriguez. This is the precinct that he represents. Um, Commissioner, can you tell us a little bit about where, where we are? Maybe we'll walk down a little bit because yeah, dogs yeah, kind so, of get into so, the mix. So we, uh, we are in uh, zip code 78207, which is the west side of San Antonio. It is just west of downtown, one of the older historic neighborhoods. Uh, a lot of families here who've been here for generations. You know, we just spoke with a family. You know, my mother lives here. Daughter lives two blocks away. The aunt is over the here. The aunt's over here. Yeah. So what we're doing, and, and Bethel, thank you for being here, yeah. is, is we're checking on folks. And, and my staff and I had been uh, actually out walking a few weeks ago before the storm to get folks signed up for the COVID vaccine. We're doing that work. We're continuing to do that work with your assistance, but now we're also doing wellness checks, right? I mean, do they need any uh, food, water, any resources uh, because of the storm that just came through? Um, so it, it's just something we, you know, think is important. We need to make sure we're touching folks that they're on their front porch, door to door. And your leadership is uh, obviously key. I know you're, not, you're doing that not just here, but in other parts of Texas. So yeah. thanks for joining us. Today. We're, we're happy to be Tell us what these orange things are that grow on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you must not be from here, huh? You no. must be from El Paso. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you're, you're tall enough. You might be able to reach up and grab one, man, or, or a couple for us. This uh, is so cool to see. Yeah. And they're, yeah. just, they're just dropping they're down. Dropping, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and so this, this zip code, I imagine, uh, from what you were saying earlier, is one of the zip codes that was hardest hit by COVID. Yeah. And yeah, we just mentioned hard hit by power and water outage. We just talked to somebody, you know, they're, they're, they've got water, but they're not. That's why she got this, this great dog that's protecting her. Uh, she doesn't have running water, but she has uh, bottled water. We asked her if she needed any more. The commissioner checked in with her. She says, no, I'm covered. We asked if the dog needs anything. The dog's good. She's got food. She's got electricity. Um, so she's, she's doing okay. And she was just telling us, we said, we're going to go knock on the doors of your neighbor. She said, my neighbors are my family. My family is my neighbors. And so I thought that was... That was really beautiful, and she's anyhow. She's she's helping us understand what what the needs are here in, in, the, in the neighborhood. Okay. Mucho gusto. Si necesitas algo, por favor llama llama el comisionado. Por favor. Gracias. Gracias. Adiós. She's so grateful. The commissioner came. She said, "No one's no one's." comes to her door no one visits uh you know from from those in in office and she sees the commissioner here and it, again this is the only way we're going to know how she's doing thankfully even though she doesn't have running water right now she has bottled water um but you know probably is worth yeah. checking on her again you know i noticed too on the one i grabbed over here right down the street so we have all these tank distribution going on all over the city i was at one yesterday um and uh this weekend 
I mean, this is reminiscent of when this pandemic first hit and people couldn't go to work. They couldn't. And right now, there's so much stress on, on our food banks. You know, we, we're trying to raise a little bit of money for the food banks as well. But that's the other resource. You know, we're, we're talking to folks to see, look, do you need food? Uh, maybe the lines are too long. Let's see if we can figure out how to get them some food as well. Because, you know, two or three days without electricity, that food's going to spoil. And that's right. The lines at HEB were crazy. So that's another thing that we all take for granted. we got to make sure folks have food to eat. Thank God, by the way, for HEB. Oh, no kidding. Sometimes yeah. when government's not there, HEB is. HEB, <laughs> yeah. I've heard that, that, that joke before. It's yeah. like another arm of government. They, they do a great job, great community partners, and uh, you know, I know that uh, we're, we're all beneficiaries of the good work they do in our, in our community. They're really awesome. Here's Let's another little uh, Yeah. Here's some. It looks like it's lost, but... Rose first, Mr. and Mrs. Palacio, here. <laughs> The may not be at home. Hey y'all, how are you? Y'all doing right. okay on water? Water, food, everything all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Guys, uh, you live here with the folks or you're... No, no, that's uh, my girlfriend's house. Oh, your girlfriend's house? Yeah. How are you? Hi, So we're, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, standing a few feet back from Commissioner Justin Rodriguez. He's here with Francesca from his team. Uh, we're going door to door with them. One, to make sure that people are okay. Uh, so just kind of doing like a wellness check-in, see if they need fresh water. Um, we just talked to a neighbor whose pipes were broken. She thinks they're gonna be fixed today. She's got a plumber coming in. The commissioner was there to remind her that she needs to have uh, her water boiled. That much of san antonio is under a boil water notice right now and then we're also signing people up for covid vaccines and so we just uh, signed up a neighbor for a covid vaccine and now i'm going to go across the street with the commissioner thank you, thank you. Adios. There, there are some fierce dogs on the west side of san antonio uh, but they're keeping people they're helping to keep people safe it looks and uh Usually, once the owner gives a signal, they calm down. Um, although this dog is... There we go. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day in San Antonio. We are so grateful for the weather uh, and for the warmth that we're seeing in Austin, where we just were earlier today, in San Antonio, where we are now, uh, in Houston, where we may travel uh, later. Um, we, we needed that break in Texas from the cold and the snow and in some parts the wind and we're also grateful to everyone in every one of the public utilities water utilities who's working to restore water pressure so you know the, the folks who are out fixing the lines uh you know repairing the mains and then the plumbers who are out there literally going you know house call to house call again we just talked to a resident two doors down a uh, super nice woman who says no i'm good i've got bottled water uh, and I'm about to get my water restored. Uh, plumber's coming back, he's gonna fix this right now. Um, so, um, you know, just feels good to be out here with the commissioner checking in on people. Uh, one of the residents was telling us about how her, she really sees all her neighbors as her, as her family. Um, and you know, she's looking out for everybody and told us which doors to knock on, which was really helpful. And then we're also just knocking on every door we see, going door to door to door here on the west side of San Antonio uh, with, uh, with the commissioner. How are you doing, Connell? I'm great. I really like being in San Antonio. Um, some similarities to El Paso. Yeah, like like what? And so, you know, just everywhere you go, there is folks speaking Spanish. And that's something that um, I also feel happens in El Paso. Um, the weather is beautiful. It's nice and warm. When I, we left El Paso yesterday, Beto, it was warm. It was warm. It was very nice. Yeah. And people are very friendly here as well. 
That's my sister Erin. Hold on one sec. Hey, Bear. How are you? Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. So you have Beto here. And then right here is the Commissioner Rodriguez on that side. Signing folks up, getting them ready. Can I give you a call when we get back in the car? Okay, well, thanks for checking in on me. Love you. Okay, bye bye. How's Aaron, Beto? Aaron's good. Aaron, my sister who lives in Carlsbad, uh, she's so good. She checks in on me every day, maybe a couple times a day, make sure that I'm okay. And uh, and so anyhow, I just was happy to get her call. Look at that. Hey. Yeah, I like this. Uh, you look like you're ready. Yeah, he does. <laughs> ready for anything. <laughs> you created a, a, a blue, uh, 3D farm real quick when the pandemic started. You printed that? Yeah. Can yeah. you get a close up? Uh, David printed this mask. Did, did you design Gregory. it as well? Gregory. Gregory, sorry. You you uh, designed. Ne Nicole Garza is a judge. She just got uh, elected here uh, in the three. Uh, you, you got me on that one, man. It's a district court, one of the district courts. And uh, she, she had the, the printers, we set them up, built like real quick, uh, some tables, and then printed them out. And it actually has three filters in it. Whoa. And then I also wear the gator, and I've been doing this since after I got back from Katie over there. You know who would love this is my wife, always is like wanting us to double or triple mask. Yeah. I'm gonna show her what you did. <laughs> yeah, like I'll that's the whole one. deal. Yeah, please. And you, right. can, and you can still breathe pretty well in that yeah. thing? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I got used to it. Uh, yeah. I got a, when they said mask up, I really did. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I have the, the, the military scarf too, and yeah. it gets real nitty gritty. You know? yep. yeah. We've yeah. been doing it. We've been doing it here in San Antonio, so I'm glad you finally got here. Absolutely. We need to hear more often. Yeah. You might uh, be our yeah, governor, no? Well, who knows? Like, who knows? I, I, I'm focused on doing this right now, and I, yeah. I like this. Cool. Yeah. I like I like this helping out. Um, what, what are you hearing in this neighborhood? Uh, well, we dropped off a whole bunch of water with uh, Anna Sandoval, mm -hmm. which is the, uh, a bunch of the city council people are getting out. And so we dropped off pallets of water all over the place. And really, that was the need, the third need. The second need was firewood and heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I gave uh, transported rides to a couple of uh, veterans that needed dialysis, mm -hmm. and the transportation services were down. Yeah, that was a big, a big thing we heard about, was a number of folks who rely on this dialysis treatment power was out i mean had no recourse right and, and so, that's a long treatment that's like a four is. hour oh treatment. yeah oh yeah and, and right now we're in the distilled water phase yeah so we need there's nowhere there's not a plant i mean maybe some of the distilleries would like to step up and get us some water so this this is great so gregory not only 3d printed these masks that you just saw he's been organizing rides for veterans who who need dialysis especially after power went out last week um been delivering water with you said with the city council rep all of them yep. with for the city council reps roberto trevino there was a bunch of senior residents like you know these high-rise areas that weren't winterized mm -hmm. and uh got hit real hard their powers off were off no management you know the people that are profiting the most aren't aren't accountable yeah and uh we we're with roberto trevino he's he's really my district councilman and so we were out there already, and you know, while it's snowing, delivering water. Good for you, man. This Thank guy, you. This guy was called the water boy, man. <laughs> Bobby Boucher has got nothing on him. Water, water boy, right here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, this is, but this is emblematic, special of the kind of people we have in our community. People like Gregory, they just step up, right? I mean, you know, there's there's a need, there's a crisis, and we get people that run into those buildings to help. Uh, Gregory's one of them, but that's just, I think, San Antonio. It's, it's uh, Puro Corazón, as we say, right? It's all about, you know, just trying to help people out. So, great. Well, thank you, Gregory, for yes, doing this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go knock on some more yeah, doors. Do see how people are doing. You don't mind if I assist? No, uh, come I'll on. hang back. Commissioner yeah. Rodriguez, people are asking what side of uh, um, San Antonio we're at. So this is the west side. This is the historic the, west side the of uh, San Antonio. Yes, so we are literally uh, just a, a, probably a few miles yeah, west you know, block, of block, downtown. Block, uh, everybody knows the downtown area, Market Square, Mi Tierra. Uh, we're just west of that. Um, so this is uh, 
uh, right off of Guadalupe Street uh, is, is the neighborhood we're at. You'll know the Avenida Guadalupe, Guadalupe Theater. We are literally uh, about two blocks from, from that area. So uh, really, really uh, like to say, you know, not to be too uh, prideful, but you know, West Side is the best side. I'm a West Sider. Uh, and so this is uh, an area that has been hit pretty bad uh, by uh, not just the pandemic, but uh, the outages that occurred last week, um, high population of Latinos, uh, quite a few without access to health care. Um, we, we, talk, we talked a minute ago about those that are have um, high incidence of uh, those on dialysis, diabetics. So uh, certainly a need uh, that, that a community that's in need and we're just out here trying to figure out what we can do to help. And, and I think, uh, you know, to have someone like Bethel uh, come, I think they, they get tired of seeing me. So, you know, to have uh, Bethel here has been great. Uh, and, and he's just, uh, you know, such a champion for our people. It's been uh, a great day so far. Well, your team says that you come out here all the time and that you like to knock on doors. So this uh, yeah, is Yeah, you is know great. what? It is something I, I, I love to do. Uh, but, you know, what I, what I think is important, too, is not just to show up during campaign season, right? I mean, you know, we knock on doors, all of us, uh, to get votes. But, uh, you know, people want to, want to see you, too, particularly when there's a uh, crisis going on or you know, just asking how you can be helpful. Uh, and that's what we're out here doing is just trying to figure out how we can help people. I think we need people to believe in government um, and, and elected leaders. And I think uh, certainly Bethel is one of those that I think is uh, walking the walk, literally. <laughs> Hey Gregory, Deanna said to tell you hi. She's yeah, like, is that okay. you? I don't, uh, Deanna, she said, is that you, Gregory? Tell them, yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's it's the Gregory right there. Same Gregory. Cool. Thanks for all you're doing. Yep. I'm, I'm sorry for all the texts. I know you get a whole, a whole no, bunch. No, do not worry about it. I, I'm I, like, you know, I'm trying to get y'all over here. These last couple of days, I haven't been able. I have probably like 30 that I haven't been able to <laughs> to get to. It's, it's just because I'm, dri like I'm driving. I like your shoes. Yeah. Those are some black walking shoes Thank right you. there. Yeah. This, this girl, she, she goes up and down the mountains and stuff. <laughs> That's like her, her uh, relax mode. I like I like working, being outdoors. Hi hiking. That's right. <laughs> Me too. This is Francesca, everyone. For those of you that haven't met her, she is amazing and been so helpful, and she works with Commissioner Rodriguez. Hi, everybody. We're excited to be out here, just kind of talking to people, getting straight, getting straight to doors, and um, just making sure people have access to all the essentials. So we're happy to be here. I'm excited awesome. to be here with you guys. Very cool. Go Lions. Go Lions. <laughs> <laughs> They said, uh, everybody's asking, where's Bethel? I said, it's classified. <laughs> How many miles do you have on your truck? That's what I want to know. I, I don't know. I need to look. Yeah. We just did that drive last night from El Paso to Austin. And it felt long because we started so late in the day. We, we left El Paso around 3.30. Okay. And so we didn't get into Austin until 1.30 or so. Oh, wow. And so that last stretch was all in the dark. Yeah. But it was, you know, we've done it so many times sure. now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That we're, we're, it looks like it's a lot. There's no car in the driveway either. <laughs> Not? No. Oh. Look at Gregory picking up trash. Just to, just does good in the community. Cynthia, you probably know how many miles he's got on that truck now. You know what? It, it has um, been such an amazing experience. We just have feel like have driven all over Texas yeah. and then a little bit of the United States. So, yeah, it's been really great. It's amazing. No, it's, you guys have probably seen corners of the state that some of us haven't dreamt of, you know? It's amazing. Yeah. I, Someone's got to be here. Here, it's open right here. Oh. This guy just picking up trash. We're here, might as well. Good, good guy. 
trying to make his community better. They're getting their information so they can come back and make sure to bring them bottled water. They said that they are in need of some water. So they're getting their information and then they're gonna make sure that they get that. Also making sure that they're asking them if they have been, they've already been vaccinated and if not, if they need uh, would like to get on the list and Commissioner Rodriguez's team is collecting that information so they can try to help make sure they get vaccinated. just got her second vaccine shot today. The commissioner just asked her, but he, when he said, is there anything we can do to help? She said, actually, we have some bottled water right now, but we don't know how long it's gonna last. Could we get some water? And so we're gonna connect her with water uh, and make sure that she's taken care of. And that's a good example of why we're doing this, but good news that she's she's got the vaccination. Okay. She said, she said nobody's here. No one's, no one's here at this one. Yeah. Why don't we maybe try this one at the corner? Commissioner Rodriguez, is there a snake farm in San Antonio? Somebody said that there is a snake farm and there is actually yeah. pick up a nail. Uh, it's actually in the Bronfels, I believe. Uh, it right off of um, 35. If you ever done that drive, like many of us from San Antonio to Austin, as you go up 35, there is a snake farm there. Uh, mm. So I can't claim that as a San Antonian uh, <laughs> staple. Uh, but I remember going there as a kid, and and uh, yeah, it's right off of 35 corridor um i want to say it's in new Braunfels. it's certainly in that new Braunfels san marcos corridor Aww. that's a sweet dog Aww. Aww. it was a dud man it could have been a dud how you doing sir you doing all right oh it is a sweet puppy check out folks to see if you need any water or any resources Sí, si necesitas algo, agua, comida, uh, necesitas algo aquí para arreglar después de la tormenta. <tose> ¿Y, y no, no tiene agua aquí adentro de su casa? No, no tiene agua en su casa. Dice que water is out at HEB, so water is in need here. Vamos a traer agua a usted. Su, su dirección? 1801 Colima. 1801 Colima. Y por favor, su nombre. Mi nombre es Tomás Yañez. Tomás. That doggy wants some love. Mm. So they're getting the information from this gentleman who says that he needs water. He's running low on water. So they're getting his information. Okay. So let's make sure we take care of these two Follow houses. Follow up. Okay. Uh, we, we, we need some water. Yeah. yeah, and we have some water in our truck. So okay. if afterwards, why don't, why don't, uh, oh, we can do that. Yeah, okay. yeah, why don't we just connect and. Vamos a hacerlo. Gracias. Adios. You guys have, uh, the, the we've got some, yeah, well, we've got uh, individual bottles, but we have cases of them. And I know that you all can connect them with folks, but maybe it's just faster. I, I if we can, can just drop them off. Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll give them to you. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Hi there. How are you? Good. I'm, I'm Commissioner Justin Rodriguez. We're just checking on folks. Are you getting Gregory? Uh, I know. He, he just this continues to do it. He really is. That's public service right there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, we can't, we can't say it's our community and then not do anything. That's right. That's right. You know what? Our uh, My kids hate that about me when we're walking through our neighborhood. I, hey, Ulysses picked that up. Molly grabbed that. We all pick up whatever trash we see. I, I was mad at my dad for doing it too, but now I'm... But now it's in you, right? That's good. Beto that makes all of us do it. Yeah. He makes all of us do it. He makes me do it too. It's a good thing. Make you you it, make right? me do it, but to do it. I do, but it's, it's, you remind me. You remind me all remind the time. You. Yeah. Trying to make sure that we stay on. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and log off because I think my phone is getting kind of hot. But okay. Um, thanks to everyone who's supporting the work out here. Uh, you've got great people in Justin and Gregory and Francesca, all these, these neighbors on the west side of San Antonio. You can see that some, most have water, some do not. We're going to get them water. Thanks for supporting our efforts to get people the resources they need. When you make a donation, it goes straight out to the, to the folks who need it. Uh, and then thanks to everybody who's doing this canvassing door to door in San Antonio, Austin, Houston, and um, Marlin. in Marlin today. We really appreciate it. We hope that you are connecting with folks as well. We'll see you all soon. We'll tune back in when we're on the road. Adios. Bye.